The Iowa Hawkeyes win their first bowl game since 2019, getting revenge on Kentucky, who beat them last year in the Citrus Bowl. Iowa's news now, Owen Sebring is live in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Owen, it's a good win for the Hawks and the football season. Thank you very much, Skyler. For all of the ups and downs and bumps along the road that Iowa's had in 2022, the Hawkeyes rung in and now will ring out the year against Kentucky. January 1st, a Citrus Bowl loss to the Wildcats. Now, December 31st, a shot at redemption. The Hawkeyes have been stewing on their regular season ending loss to Nebraska for over a month. The black and gold swarm Nashville on the 25th anniversary of the Music City Bowl. Only two all-time meetings between these programs and they come on the bookends of 2022. Kentucky, led by former Hawkeye Mark Stoops, easily considered the best football coach in Wildcat history. Tricky quarterback situation today. Spencer Petras and Alex Padilla are out. In steps redshirt freshman Joe Labus, who's never taken a snap in his college football career until today. But if you're a new QB playing at tight end, you may as well leave it in the hands of your big boys. Look at Sam Laporta swatting away Kentucky tacklers like mosquitoes on the 4th of July. Iowa driving deep into Wildcat territory early in the second quarter. The other half of this thunder and lightning tight end tandem, Luke Lachey. 15 yards, stretching for the pylon. Yes, he's in. Fourth touchdown catch of the season. First career touchdown pass for Joey Labus. Hawkeyes on the board with a 7-0 lead. Kentucky is desperate to respond. This is the last thing you want if you're cheering on the boys from the Bluegrass State. First play of the ensuing drive. Xavier Wampa. Xavier putting the X in pick six. X going to take it from you. First start in the career of the five-star true freshman out of Southeast Polk. Have yourself a day, young man. After a scoreless first quarter, this second quarter went simply bonkers. Right before halftime, Kentucky backed up near their own goal line. How about another pick six? This one from Cooper DeGene. Coop, there it is. Breaks a Hawkeye record with his third pick six of the season. Cooper's got more touchdowns this season than every wide receiver on Iowa's roster combined. The lightning bolt from Odebolt strikes again. It's 21-0 at halftime. And those 21 points in the second quarter are all Iowa needs today. Just like they've done all season, a magnificent defensive performance from the Hawkeyes. They force eight three and outs from the Kentucky offense. Late in the game, the Wildcats even resorted to putting in former Hawkeye transfer Deuce Hogan he couldn't find any rhythm on offense. Torrey Taylor with another brilliant putt game. Eight boots, six inside the 20-yard line, four inside the 10-yard line, a long of 59 yards for the Aussie fan favorite. And the Hawkeye defense posts the first shutout in the 25-year history of the Music City Bowl. 2022 began with a loss to Kentucky, but all the acquaintance will be forgot as they celebrate the end of another season as Music City Bowl champions. <laughs> It's a testament to the way our guys prepare and just, you know, the work that they put in uh, beyond the practice field. Those guys are really committed to it, and there's a standard, and uh, it's great to see. I'm just I'm really proud of those guys. Man, I'm just so proud uh, to be here, to be standing right here. What an opportunity and a blessing it's been, and uh, I'm just excited to, to see where this program is going to continue to go in the future. It was good to send these guys out on a high note. Um, they've given so much to this to this program. They've been great leaders. Um, all year, so it was, it was it was good to get that get that one last win for them. It feels great, you know, and also for the seniors to do get the win for them, um, they can go off and and be happy with that. So I love it. The more you invest, the more the program will do for you. And over the last four years, a lot of guys in that locker room have worked their butts off, and I think they see um, kind of those accomplishments and the success um, precede that. And uh, yeah, it just. Really emotional day and glad to go out on top.